your morning news now on this Wednesday. We begin this morning with results from last night's primary in Wisconsin. Wealthy businessman Tim Michaels won the Wisconsin Republican primary. That follows a contested race with former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. Both candidates had major endorsements. Michael is endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Clayfish was backed by former Vice President Mike Pence. Michaels came out with 47% of the vote, while Clayfish received 42%. Standing up for the hardworking people of Wisconsin, they've been left behind by the Democratic Party that just wants to focus on the social issues. From my first day in office to my very last day as governor, Jobs in the economy are going to be my number one priority. Michaels will face Democratic Governor Tony Evers in the fall. Wisconsin's governor's race is expected to be highly contested. Brad Paff wins the Democratic primary for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District. Paff, currently a Wisconsin State Senator, was one of three Democratic candidates. He beat out military veteran Deb McGrath and Eau Claire small business owner Rebecca Cook. Paff says politicians should focus on the needs of voters, which is why he is running as a moderate. I will work with uh, individuals from uh, uh, all political persuasions to make sure that we focus on the needs in this district. That is the most important thing. Eau Claire businesswoman Rebecca Cook, as we mentioned, falling just short of representing Democrats in the third congressional race. Cook held her watch party at Labor Temple in Eau Claire last night. Cook grew up on a dairy farm and has her own small business and founded a nonprofit devoted to supporting female entrepreneurs. As someone newer to the political races, Cook has endorsements from organized labor and was proud to be a somewhat unconventional political candidate. Well, I'm not somebody that's a career politician or an elitist. I'm working to stand up and fight for everyday folks. And I think that that's really been resonating with voters and people that I talk to. Cook is the youngest member of the state's Economic Development Corporation, a position she was appointed to by Governor Tony Evers. On the GOP side, Derek Van Orden thanked his supporters for their tireless efforts throughout the primary process last night. He shared what he believed to be at stake in November, saying, I want to thank the thousands of supporters around the district who have worked so hard to get us to this point. Your efforts are truly humbling, and Sarah Jane and I appreciate them immensely. I will stand up to Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi, work tirelessly to improve the lives of, peop of everyone within this district. Van Orden will go up against Brad Paff for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District in November. Now on to the Republican primary for La Crosse Sheriff. Investigator Fritz Leinfelter has edged out Captain Marty Peterson. We did speak with Leinfelter at his watch party before the results came in last night. I feel really blessed that I had a great campaign team. My volunteers are amazing. My family's been supportive. Leinfelder will face investigator John Siegel in November. And look at your first forecast for today. Lots of sun, not a lot of wind. Look at that high, 87 degrees. Winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. Upper 50s, low 60s, clear skies, and again, a nice light wind. Happening today, the La Crosse County Child Support is hosting a job fair. It will be held at the La Crosse County Courthouse from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Guests can speak with several employers, including Ashley Furniture, Hilltopper Refuse, and Interstate Roofing, among others. Happening today, Bliss Road will be temporarily closed between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. The closure starts at 29th Street South and ends at Grandad Bluff Road. If you have any questions, you can contact the City of La Crosse Utility Office. We did post contact information at news8000.com. And one final look at the next eight days. We'll see a front push its way through tonight. Look at that high tomorrow, 80 degrees, back into the mid 80s for the weekend, keeping the rain chances in the forecast for starting Friday going through next Wednesday. And of course, don't forget, we have more results coming in. Some races not quite called yet, but you can see those at news8000.com. There's a little button you can click right on the home page to see all the results from last night's primary. We're going to have the latest updates today coming up at noon as well. And of course, our evening crew is going to have more reaction from the primary results tonight at 5 and 6. CBS Mornings follows us here. Thank you for watching and have a great day.